Hey, welcome back. I'm Paige Poppy and I'm an artist, but today you get to be the artist too. Today I am filming Instagram followers choose what I paint. Hopefully if you're watching this, you were one of my Instagram followers that got to vote in this video. If not, I think it's still gonna be a lot of fun. So I was laying in bed a couple nights ago, 2 a.m., couldn't sleep because I had a giant chai boba that day. <laughs> but it did lead me to this idea, which was I'm gonna do this for a painting. So I woke up this morning amped, ready to film this. Just did a little quick browse on the YouTube and it turns out a lot of other artists have already filmed this video. It's totally fine though. I think there is room for everyone. That's what we're doing today. I have my phone here. I'm geared up. I'm hopping onto my Instagram story and putting up polls and throughout the day I'm asking this or that. Basically warm toned or cool toned, canvas or wood. And we are gonna see how this painting develops. Oh wow. You can't see me. Welcome to my floor. These paintings were a big inspiration for this challenge. They have this ability to look very different but still be cohesive. So I knew if we created a painting in this style, there would be a lot for you to vote on. Everything from the background colors to the mountain colors to what types of animals we use. So we are going to end up making a piece like this today. I'm dying to see how this painting turns out. So let's dive right in. Of course, to start a painting, we have to have a canvas. We've got two options here. I am having you vote in between a cradled wood panel and a canvas. And while I'm at it, I'm going to ask my followers one more thing, which is what direction they want the painting to go in. We could orient them vertical or horizontal. So I'm gonna ask my followers which way they want it to be. All right, I'm back. It's the next day. I have let the polls stay up for 24 hours. I thought that would be the most fun so everyone could participate. And we also would get the most wide range of votes for the canvas versus the wood panel. Surprisingly, the wood panel won. We are painting this. I am actually pretty stoked on this because I prefer to paint on wood over canvas. So this is gonna make this video more fun for me. And also let's see what composition we are going to be painting in such a close call winning by 51 percent we are going to be painting this vertically next we're going to choose the color palette most of these pieces i've made have had three or four background colors and i just felt like three was a good number for us to work with i lined up the seven colors of spray paint i have and then had you drag a slider onto your three choices i will tell you that this is a good idea in theory this instagram tool gives you the average answer from all the votes but the average answer for all three ended up being really similar. So our first color is yellow. And then our other two colors, the sliders ended up in almost the exact same spot. They're both stuck right in between yellow and green. So we are gonna go ahead and call it. We are gonna say our second color is green. Since we only got two colors, I put up this pole that has all the colors except for the green and yellow. I've only had this pole up for an hour or two but we're just gonna go with it so we can start painting. And the color that one is hot pink. Yes. There's our color palette. This is gonna be good. had time to look at the poll again for the fourth color and by the time it was 24 hours it actually was voted orange so I thought hey let's go ahead and honor that so I added a fourth color to the painting which is orange I went a little nuts with this. I ended up layering a lot of colors. The orange really came into play, which is cool. You can see I am a little less generous with green. I know we're gonna be doing a lot of green detail work on top of this. We're already having quite a collaboration and now it's time to move into the mountain. For this collection so far, all of the paintings have included mountains 
but they've all been anonymous which is what i call them when i just make up the mountain range when it came to having you vote i thought it would be fun to choose between two specific mountain ranges and i picked two arizona classics to choose from the first is superstition mountain range which is also called lost dutchman sometimes and camelback and this voting has really surprised me superstitions won by 78 percent and that's four times as many votes as camelback got so that's really nuts the shape is so unique it's gonna look so great on this canvas and of course we have to know what color to paint the mountain range so i had you vote either cool toned or warm toned and what won is warm toned colors my favorite and i'll show you the colors we have available for this on the poll i had some different color ranges and we ended up with this range of pinks reds and oranges i am loving molotow markers with these paintings these are the first time i've really gotten a chance to use them and they're great here we go yeah i'm excited this is why this is my job this fires me up After painting the mountains, it was time to add in the details. On the screen, you will see the results of these polls. I asked you what colors you would like the clouds to be and the spiral details and cool toned one in both categories. A lot of these votes surprised me. I am a warm toned artist through and through. So to see how much of my audience voted for cool tones was very surprising to me and it gives me some insight into why whenever I paint a piece that is blue or purple everyone seems to love it. The amount of outfit changes in this video is starting to become comical. I have not painted this all in one sitting. I've been working on it a little bit here and there over quite a few days, but I think we are close to finishing it. Let's jump into the next poll all about the Saguaro cacti. I had an observation when I looked at all these other paintings I've made and I realized I haven't included any Saguaro cacti in them, which is very rare for me because I include them a lot in my work. And by a landslide, 95% of of you voted yes for Saguaros. As for the color palette, I did forget to ask the color palette of this. As a visual decision, I think they just need to be a really contrasting color to what we already have going on. So I'm going to use this metallic green color to make sure they really stand out. Those are looking so great and as you can see I was inspired while I had the metallic green in hand to add another spiral. I felt like I wanted to have something anchoring the top of the painting and since you voted that the spirals could be cool toned, I had the option of any of these five colors so I dropped in a big metallic green one at the top. The next step I would do in this painting is adding in more plants and cacti and botanicals. So let's jump into the next poll and see what everyone voted. I did ask if I should include an Ocotillo in this painting or not because a lot of my other pieces from this collection do have an Ocotillo and 57% of you voted nope, so we are not including one. I really do think that worked out well though because I don't see an Ocotillo really going hand in hand well with this painting, which brings me to the next poll. I asked you what type of cacti you'd like to add to the piece and I gave two options an organ pipe cactus and a prickly pear, another couple of cacti that I love to paint. I guessed that the organ pipe cactus would win, but I was very wrong. Prickly pear won by 69%, so it's time to paint it. I did forget to ask for a color palette choice of the prickly pear cactus, so I threw up a quick poll on Instagram 47 minutes ago asking cool toned or warm toned again, and cool toned one and i'm super happy about that because i feel like the warm toned cactus would blend in with the mountains too much i gotta choose one of these five colors let's make it happen we 
we are close to being done we just need to add in our animal i first gave you the option to choose between a mammal and a bird every other painting in this collection has involved birds it just kind of flowed naturally but when i brought you into this process i wanted to give you even more choice in the mammal versus bird competition mammals won 54 percent voted for mammals but then i wanted to give another option of choosing the actual animal two southwest mammals the first ones that come to mind are a jackrabbit and a coyote survey says coyote and it was another close call coyote won by 54 percent but i'm thrilled about this because i have actually never painted a coyote before tea don't know how that happened being a southwest artist one more thing before we add in this coyote i hope it's okay that i'm gonna make one executive decision i really feel like it needs to be warm toned to kind of set itself apart from all the beautiful cacti we've painted but in order to be warm toned it needs a little bit of background behind it to pop so i'm gonna add in a desert floor to the piece and i am gonna do it cool toned to pop but I also felt like this was fair because you voted for the clouds, the spirals, and the plants to all be cool toned. So we are keeping in with that theme of all the details being cool toned. And then that will allow me to go in and paint a coyote that is warm toned, but it's still really gonna pop out in this piece. Oh, it's looking so good. I am keeping it down here so you get the full reveal. We just have one more thing to add, which is my signature. Are we ready? Let's see the piece. Oh my goodness, how fun was it to make a painting together? This painting has really taken me by surprise, putting the decisions in someone else's hands is interesting for an artist and i didn't know where we would end up but i'm thrilled and it really reminds me of the process of working on a commissioned painting for a client because i am bringing my style and my artistry and my decisions to the table but they are giving me their vision i end up with something that i couldn't have pictured on my own and that's a really similar situation to this painting so you in a way were the client and the artist and it's just wonderful i know this wouldn't have just come out of my brain let me know do you like it i hope you do please comment below and let me know if you're excited about how this painting turned out please give this video a thumbs up that will let me know that you enjoyed it and i want to thank you whether you were just watching this video or if you were someone on instagram that voted I really appreciate you participating thanks so much for being here don't forget to subscribe so you can see my next video which is already edited and uploaded for you coming out soon and I will see you in my next one bye <laughs> looks really good